Hey everyone, so this video was meant to go up yesterday since yesterday was free comic book day but I was extremely tired from doing a lot of running around and I got very little sleep the night before plus I also went out again to see Avengers Endgame for the second time but uh, my second experience was horrible because uh, let's just say the uh, there was a few ignorant audience members <laughs> and there was also lots of crying babies and it just made my second experience um, disappointing <laughs> but um that's all right i'll just wait for the blu-ray i don't think i'm going to go for a third time to see that movie but anyways um yeah as you can see i picked up a few of the marvel legends x-men that i did do a little toy hunt video for so you could check that out um here i'll show which ones i picked up so i picked up um, blink here and they have the lovely artwork on the side and the back as well And I wanted to get this character because I think she's pretty cool from the Age of Apocalypse story, which I do have the omnibus of, by the way. Here, I'll show you that. So yeah, I have this <laughs> thick-ass omnibus of X-Men Age of Apocalypse, which I still need to finish up. I'm working on my um, Death and Return of Superman omnibus because I've made it almost halfway through that story. And then I'll get started on my X-Men Age of Apocalypse book. But I also picked up a Gambit because I just think he's one of the coolest X-Men members. It would be nice if I could find a Rogue and put those two together. There we go. I also picked up uh, Jubilee here, which comes with switchable heads. She comes with an extra pair of shades and the uh, main torso of Caliban. And I always thought she was a cool X-Men member from the uh, 90s X-Men comics and cartoons. And finally, I picked up Beast here, who's a hefty figure. I mean, you could feel the weight difference if you actually held this in your hands. But you can't have an X-Men team without Beast. I'm not sh I can't remember if this is the second or third beast that they made for Marvel Legends. I know there was like the old school Toy Biz ones, which um, I missed my opportunity to buy that one while, while I was collecting um, other Marvel Legends figures around that time. All right. So very happy to find those Marvel Legends. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pick up the pick up the rest of the wave. They did have the rest of them there at one of the Walmarts that I went to that was really far, but I decided to leave them for other collectors. Um, really looking forward to the Spider-Man Far From Home Marvel Legends, only for Mysterio and Doppelganger, because Mysterio, well, the MCU Mysterio looks pretty cool. He looks just like his comic book counterpart. And Doppelganger, I actually still have my old school Toy Biz action figure of Doppelganger, and I thought he was such a, like, a cool... Um, Spider-Man, like, evil Spider-Man clone in the Maximum Carnage comics. Uh, but anyways, first off, here is a Avengers pin. If I can get my camera to focus on that. So this was given to me by Captain Marvel, or Miss Marvel. Pretty much a <laughs> cosplayer that was there that day. And then same cosplayer that you are seeing in the thumbnail. If you want to see a high quality um, photo of that image, go to my Twitter account and you can see that picture that I uploaded of me and Captain Marvel. I put the link to my Twitter page in the description below. I post a lot of funny stuff on Twitter. I'm mostly active on that social media more than anywhere else. So anyways, uh, let's get to the free comic books that I picked up. So I got DC, I think this says uh, Year of the Villain. Or it would make sense to say villains, put plural on that, add an S, I don't know, Year of the Villain. It would make more sense to say villains, because there's multiple villains on here, but whatever. I have not been following DC Comics in quite some time, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. Um, Bloodshot. Never read a Bloodshot comic before, but I do remember seeing images of, of this character in my old school wizard magazines, which I still need to do a video for. Um, 
I know in some of my videos I keep mentioning that I have like these old wizard magazines that um, pretty much cover a lot of like comic book related topics and I never really did show them off because I have too many of them from like the late 90s and early 2000s. I picked up Robotech here. I used to watch a little bit of this when it used to come on Toonami. Spider-Man with which appears to be Carnage on the front cover. And on the bottom corner here it's uh, Miles Morales confronting Spider-Man. Get my camera to focus better on that. There we go. See, there's Miles Morales and there's Peter Parker, who I'm assuming is Peter Parker. I'm not sure which carnage, uh, which carnage they're using for this. Because I know there's been a few carnages since I've been out of the loop from uh, Marvel Comics, but Stranger Things. I'm more of a fan of Season 1 more than Season 2, even though I picked up both seasons on Blu-ray. But I think it's a cool little series. Um, I always thought Stranger Things would have been in like a horror anthology. Instead of just continuing on the same story from the same characters from the first season. But whatever. Uh, I don't know. I, I felt like the final few episodes of Season 2 was really cool. But I'm a, more of a fan of Season 1. And looking forward to season three. Maybe I'll buy the uh, Blu-ray set. Vampirella. Now, I always thought Vampirella was cool, even though I never bought her comics back in the day. But I always thought she was a cool character. So, that's why I picked up this one. Ninja Turtles. Nickelodeon, 35th, or no, 35 years of TMNT. And obviously, I had to get this because I am a Ninja Turtle fan. There we go. Secret Empire. Not sure what that says in the corner right there. It says, also featuring Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man, by Zdarsky and Sekira. Secret Empire. Not familiar with this story because I've been out of the loop with comics for a long time even though I've been trying my best to find out what's going on currently in the uh, 616 universe I think and I got one punch man plus my hero academia so wait a minute wait a minute because I picked up a my hero academia comic did I accidentally... No, okay. I thought it was the same thing just on the back cover, but no. So I got One Punch Man. Because, yeah, this is the one I was talking about. My Hero Academia free comic. Right there. Or manga, since, you know, the pages are reversed. <laughs> but technically it is a comic. The Avengers plus Savage Avengers, which says there under the title there. On the front cover, got Captain Marvel, Iron Man, She-Hulk, Captain America, uh, Thor, Ghost Rider, Black Panther, and I'm assuming that's Blade because he's the only one with shades, a trench coat, and a sword that I know of from the Marvel Universe. <laughs> so, yeah. But they always swap members in and out of the Avengers over time. Much like with, uh, oh geez, what's the other group? Um, X-Force. They always swap out members from time to time. And lastly, for free comic book day, I got uh, the Spawn comic. Uh, when I was younger, I used to be such a huge fan of Spawn. I bought quite a few of the comics, especially like the first couple of issues. I still have those, still in the... Um, in the uh, plastic like uh, comic bag with the backboard and everything. Um, I used to buy some of the toys, kept up with the HBO series, the HBO animated series, uh, series a little bit. Um, I remember when the live action movie came out and well, it turned out to be disappointing for many fans, but as cheesy as that movie was, gotta admit, 
the costume that they made for that they made for Julie or no, what's his name? Uh, oh, I totally forgot his name, but the costume they made for the character who played Spawn was outstanding. And I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with um, the Spawn reboot that I believe Todd McFarlane has uh, or is working closely with. So hopefully it'll be more like the comics and it'll be a bit darker than that last movie that came out in the 90s or no, it was early 2000s. I can't remember when that movie came out. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the free comics I picked up on Free Comic Book Day. Along with some Marvel Legends action figures because I am a collector of Marvel Legends and other collectible figures from Hasbro. Like I just recently picked up uh, White Ranger and Lord Zed from the Power Rangers line. Um, some Overwatch figures. Uh, trying to remember what else I picked up from him. Hasbro. Oh yeah, Hercules. And a two-pack of... Uh, Civil Warrior and The Collector, which I have that next to me so I can actually show that. Yeah, this right here. So I already did a videos on these. This is part of my uh, birthday toy hunt video. So, yeah. Uh, that's all the comics I picked up on Free Comic Book Day. And uh, once again, if you want to see a high quality image of the uh, photo I took with Captain Marvel in the thumbnail, check out my Twitter page. You'll see a better image quality of that. And um, yeah. Would like to see your guys' videos of what you guys picked up, and oh, yeah, what a time to be a comic book fan! <laughs> We've gotten plenty of uh, awesome comic book figures and comic book stories and movies this year. It's crazy. It's really crazy. But uh, we are in what May? Yeah, we're in May. Looking forward to seeing Godzilla: King of the Monsters at the end of the month because I'm also a Godzilla fan, so can't wait to watch that. Uh, all right. Uh, this is Omega Primus, and hope you get, hope you guys hope all you guys have a awesome weekend or weekday, whichever it is, whenever you get to see this video. Stay awesome and stay safe, and I will see you guys in the uh, next video, whenever that may be. I have no clue. I never plan these things. I just go with the flow. All right, later.